guys, gosh, it's good to be back. I'll tell you, I, I missed you guys, I missed filming videos, I missed being online, but if you watched my video about my newest uh, handgun that was in this case, uh, which just came before this video, go back and watch that video, you'll find out what happened that kept me away from YouTube for six to eight weeks. But I'm back, I'm not gonna leave again, um, and from my lips to God's ears, what happened before won't happen again. Uh, and I'm not going to say any more about that. If you want more details, we're going to get back to a quasi-pattern of videos like I was doing before my absence. And Fridays will be question and answer Friday. So tomorrow, if you really want to know stuff that I can disclose, I will disclose it tomorrow in a video. Um, but as you know from watching my other video, this weekend's very busy for my business, so there will be no videos this weekend, but starting Monday we're back full stream, s full steam ahead. So, um, in my other video that I just uploaded, you'll, you'll know that these are my clues for my next tool that I have acquired. Can you see that? Let me get close to the camera. And I also explained that I was not a long gun fan. I am a pistol guy. But... At our men's assault men's retreat with our church on the weekend after Memorial Day or Mother's Day, I fell in love. I did, and uh, it's not a love that my wife is appreciating uh, because it is a gun love. And pretty much before the weekend retreat, I was really—I'm going to use a phrase that's not politically correct. A friend of mine came up with it or said it, and I like the phrase. I think it's funny. Tongue-in-cheek, please humor me. It's called rifle-tarded. I was rifle-tarded. I didn't know anything about rifles. I was a deer hunter many years ago, but and I was a duck hunter when I was a kid, so I knew about shotguns. I was not real uh, accustomed to rifles. But then I came across this. And this, as long as I sell some lyrics, uh, which are my scooters, if you've not seen them, check other few... Uh, former videos, I own a business selling Lyrics, which is a three-wheeled electric scooter. Um, but if I sell enough of those before my birthday, which is June 15th, I get to keep this. This is on loan from a friend of mine, and dear Lord, I do not want to give it back. Ladies and gentlemen, what we have before you is a Bushmaster Superlight M4. What a fantastic machine. Uh, it's been said by many people on the channel and on other gun, gun channels that everybody needs at least one AR in their collection, and I am on board for that, buddy. The only thing that you're not seeing on this AR right now is the sling that is not on it. But I will go over this AR in, you know, some detail. I'm not going to go over it extensively, but because uh, I don't know it extensively, guys. I'm still sort of rifle targeted. But it's got the adjustable stock, three position stock, it's got EOTech uh, holographic sight, um, it's got the rail including, I'm not muzzling the camera, but it's got a light, it is my flashlight, my little uh, Surefire flashlight, it's got a light on there, it's got a vertical front grip, um, it's got a very comfortable hand grip, I don't know what those are called, I don't know what kind it is, but uh, we'll take the camera off the tripod and do a little close up. And uh, I was holding out to get an AR because I want to get a lefty, because I'm a lefty. I want to get a lefty AR. But my friend brought this to my attention, and when I checked out the EOTech site, and when I checked out the vertical grip, which a lot of people say they don't like, they like the, the horizontal grip, but I really like the vertical grip. With my MS, it does help. And uh, I can operate that flashlight, and it's absolutely friggin' amazing, guys, along with the gun and the sling and the bag you just saw. I've got five magazines and a 90 round drum. I have not loaded the drum yet because it is a kind of difficult thing to uh, load. If you want a separate video on that, I'll do a separate video on that. But a 90 round drum, guys, how cool is that? I mean, come on. That's, uh, you can get a lot of zombies with this gun. And people, I've heard the phrase many times where you use your pistol to get to your AR. And uh, I'm believing it, guys. I am absolutely a fan. This is a lot of fun. So, 
Let's uh, try to do a tabletop. I've never done a tabletop of a rifle or any long gun, but uh, let's see how much of it I can get on camera, all right? Thanks. All right, guys. So here is my attempt, bad attempt, at my close-up tabletop review of my uh, Bushmaster Superlight M4 that I'm hoping is going to stay in the safe. It is in the safe now, but I'm hoping it stays in the safe. And my wonderful wife says that as long as I earn money that it's outside of the household budget, I can keep it. My birthday is in two, and a half, two weeks and three days or whatever. Or no, two weeks and one day, I'm sorry. Because it is the, thir the 31st of June, or May, and my birthday is on June 15th. So anyway, uh, besides the gun, as I said, we've got the 90 round drum which is absolutely amazing. We've got the speed loading system for the magazines. We've got one, I don't know how many round magazine this is, you guys tell me, is it a 20? 15? I don't know about rifles guys, sorry. And then we've got five uh, 30 round mags, I know, know that those are 30 rounds with the, the, I don't know what this is called, quick release, quick grab, what I don't, I don't know. Uh, along with, I've got about 30 rounds of green point green tip and about 200 rounds of regular uh, ammo for this thing uh, 223 I have learned quite a bit about this gun since I've had I've had it for about three weeks in my possession uh, but let's take a look and see what I can do for a uh, pan around I don't know what these grips are called I don't know if they're anything special or if they're just typical AR grips we'll take a look at this I got the dust cover closed I love the light holder, holds my surefire, I mean, I told my wife Laura, I said, Laura, it's kismet because it's, it's destiny because it holds my favorite flashlight perfectly. It's got the, the front sight, it is a 916 556 twist, I don't know if you can see that, don't know if the camera's going to focus, but it's a 556 916 twist. I don't know what that means, but from my buddies up at camp said that it was good. Let's flip it over here without muzzling myself, even though, yes, it is safety check, guys. Uh, got the other side. The EOTech, it uses AA uh, batteries. Uh, EOTech's got several different battery options. Uh, I'll tell you, that's my favorite thing about this gun. I mean, from what I hear... You guys can correct me if I'm incorrect here, but I don't think I am. Uh, from what I hear, it's about a $400 sight system. And uh, let me see if I can do this. Let's test the dexterity of Dave here. But uh, let's see here. Never claim to be a professional, guys, right? So, but there it is. There's the EOTech holographic sight. That is so cool. It makes shooting steel targets just stupid friendly. It's just so easy to just put them on target. You know, I shot this with 223, but I understand because it's got the 223, 556, 916 twist barrel, it will handle a 556. But uh, make sure I turn that off because I don't want to kill my batteries. But uh, what a great gun, guys. I mean, just absolutely, I love this thing. I really, really. You know, for all you guys that have been rifle guys for a long time, I've never really said anything bad about you. I wouldn't say anything bad about you. I never saw the appeal of a long gun, a rifle, but hallelujah, I am hooked. I don't want to make this an extremely long video, guys, so I'm going to wrap it up from there. But please let me know what you think of my new and first AR. Uh, and... Uh, we will get back to you in the next few days. We'll do a Q&A Friday if I get enough Q&As. And I do have several from the eight weeks that I've been gone. But like I said in the previous video, I could not even respond to those. So thanks a lot, guys. And we'll see you guys tomorrow with a Q&A. We have more guns. We have more gear. We have more range videos. I'm going to make you guys sick of seeing me. So... Thanks a lot, guys. I love my new AR. I really do.
please say a prayer or cross your fingers or do whatever you need to do that this weekend, the 2nd and 3rd of June, I sell enough lyrics, uh, scooters, to pay for this bad boy because I do not want to return it. Thanks a lot, guys. Talk to you soon. Stay safe and train.